Hello guys, it's Captain Gadget. Happy New Year and welcome to yet another practical guide. I've been so busy lately so I've not been able to upload some videos in a while. Today we're going to talk about network cable termination. We have two commonly used standards, the T568A standard and the T568B standard. Both are defined by the color arrangement of the cable, as you can see, the one on the left and the one on the right. For this video, we'll be talking about the T568B standard. The color arrangement are as follows. The white orange, the orange, the white green, the blue, the white blue, the green, the white brown, and brown. Numbered from 1 down to 8, starting from the left to the right. The three things you are going to need for this practical are the RJ45 connector, the crimping tool, and the category 6 network cable. We start by taking out the insulation of the cable, the outermost layer. You slice through with the crimper and make sure not to cut the inner conductors. As you can see, I just did it small trace with the blade of the crimper around it you cut out the separator you untwist the twisted pairs we have eight pins in groups of two making four twisted pair that's four sets of two pins so you pull out the cable and straighten them as you can see i'm applying pressure in between my fingers putting the cable in between and straightening them out so that i can obtain a very straight cable At this point, you hold the cables together in a flat arrangement. Hold them between your fingers and let it be flat so that from left to right you can see the color arrangement if it's in the right standard B of the T568B. You look closely and very, very carefully make sure you cut the end of the cable to be uniform right now i'm going to cut again to make sure i have a smooth cut and a very straight and flattened layer on top of all the eight pins so that when i'm inserting my rj45 connector it's going to flow in and i insert in this position the rj45 pins are facing me that is i'll count from my left to right at this point you look at the end of the cable if they reach the end of the of the rj45 connector make sure that the insulation is inside the clip of the rj45 connector and make sure you can see the inner conductor that is the copper part of your cable all the eight pins at the end of the rj45 connector turn your crimper in the right position make sure that the serrated teeth of the crimper is on the other side while you insert your cable the serrated teeth of the crimper meets the pins of the rj45 connector then you can press those are not and that's it the pins are gone in and right now we are sure that the cable is secured and if you look at the outermost insulator of the cable you will find that 
it is inside the RJ45 connector. Many people make that mistake of leaving the insulator out. When you do that, anybody that pulls your cable will disconnect some of your pins and the cable goes bad. So it is always very important to ensure that the outermost insulator is inside the RJ45 connector. There is a clip to hold that outermost insulator in position. This is what holds the entire cable when somebody is pulling at it. So it secures the cable. Right now, I plugged it into a switch. The clip made a sound. Now I'm pulling. As I'm pulling right now, I'm sure I'm not pulling at the termination end. I'm pulling just the insulator against the clip of the RJ45 and my contact points will not be affected by that mechanical force. Now we make the other end of the cable. We are making a straight cable. So, what we did on one hand is the same thing we are going to repeat on the other end. We are going to repeat the T568B standard on this other hand. All cable arrangement remains the same end to end Now we have both hands terminated. The same standard on both hands. You can look through again to confirm what you've done. At this point, if you've made any error, you will have to cut one hand out and start over. And of course, that will waste your RJ45 connector. Just make sure you have a lot of it. Now I'm plugging into a switch and I want to test right away. I don't want to choose my laptop right now because I have too many VMs on my laptop and they sort of try to mess up with my LAN ports. So I resolved to plug in it back to my laptop and wait. It takes a while. Okay, so I decided to plug to someone else's laptop. And of course, that is giving me the green light. The green light is for gigabit speed, which is the 10 by 100 by 1000. You can see, but the laptop here doesn't have such indicator. 
to tell us what is going on. So I decided to plug back to my laptop. So um, here comes the light. It's on. Well, it's giving me 10 by 100 Mbps. Thanks to GNS3, I'll be able to recover once I format my laptop again. It's a uh, amber light, 10 by 100. And that is how to make a straight cable. Next video, we are going to be talking about how to make a cross cable. Don't forget, if you want to hire me for network consulting, you can reach me via my phone number showing on the screen right now or my email address. Have a nice day. Goodbye.